Hello everybody and welcome back to Beginner's Luck Episode 4. Today we're going to be starting our interview with the map creator of Pirate's Life for Me. Um, today I'm joined by Justin. Say hello Hi. Justin. <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, when I first mentioned this interview to you, the first question that popped into my head was, why would you... Uh, start making this map, like this type of map? Well, it started out, uh, I was doing reviews on the forum page, and then uh, Benia, my co-partner of the project, uh, he asked me if I wanted to join him on this map idea he just came up with about pirates. I'm like, sure, why not? Sounds like a good idea, and then just went on from there. So, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, uh, why would you, like, choose as, an, like, an RPG style instead of, like, a puzzle or an adventure? Oh, well, pirates, I don't know, puzzles don't really work with, uh, theme. Uh, we kind of want to make it open-worldy, give the players more, like, freedom instead of, like, a linear path and doing puzzles. Pirates, it doesn't really work. We just want to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, now, um, I made my own map, and I, when I was making that, I was using too many items, and that took me forever. When you guys were making this map, how were you making it? Like, were you using World Edit or MC Edit? Um, well, I was using too many items as well, and I think uh, Benny, I was using World Edit for the desert. Uh, we still have to fix that, but... Uh, most of it was done on too many items and switched to creative and yeah, it was, that's basically it. Okay. Um, now I, seen that your map has a big team of map makers with it. How yeah. How did you, uh, round them all up? Um, well, we basically just posted an application on the topic page and we just selected the uh, it was basically first come first serve, and we selected. I think it's, we have eight now, but we might be uh, kicking one because he hasn't seen the topic in like a month ago. So we might be adding a new person. Oh yeah. So uh, how have they contributed to the, the map? How what have they been doing? Um. Well, I've been doing story, Benny I was doing building, uh, Coco build, Tusca City, and um, he did most of the redstone. Uh, Piggle Pick, he helped with the church, but he left because his computer was taken away, I guess. And Silverfish, uh, he's trying to get up a server, but it's not really working out, so... Yeah, I think that's everyone. Oh. Um, now, another question that's uh, been boggling me. How long did it actually take you to make this map? Because I've seen it's quite a big map. Yeah, it's a big map. Uh, well, it started in the uh, beginning of July. But uh, each update probably took about two or three weeks to make. So I'd say... Two months, oh, no, not two months, a month and a half working. Ah, okay. Now, I played through the map a bit, but not all of it. And I seen the big ass ship on the form, and that, <laughs> yeah. that drew me into the map. Uh, how long did it take you to make that? Well, Benny, I made most of it. Um, I'd say if I were to make that, it'd probably take me about three hours <laughs> since I'm not really the best builder, but I had to ask him, he probably took him around two, three hours. He seems like a skilled builder then. Yeah. Oh. Have there like been any setbacks to your map? Um, well there's one that I can remember, when I was building the cove, it was going to be like totally different from where it was now, um, but I was making a TNT storage room, and instead of a uh, putting a chest 
like down below in TNT, I was putting TNT like on the ground. And to get a torch, um, I accidentally got a redstone torch because I was like half asleep. It was like four in the morning. And I placed it down by accident right beside the TNT. And it just blew the whole place up. Uh, so I had to reload the map and start over. Oh, yeah, that's never good when you make it a map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I seen with some maps that they included mods for them, which does make the map more interesting. But most people usually don't want to include mods with their map. Um, with your map, would you were you thinking about ever doing something like that? Well, there's one mod. Um, is basically like a cannons mod that we can add to like a pirate ship. But I'm not like a really big fan of adding mods to maps it just seems like a big pain but i don't know could be a possibility not sure i'll have to talk it over but oh, okay yeah. um from the beginning of the project what were you expecting this map will become um well actually i was expecting it to be a lot smaller than we're gonna plan it to be um i thought it was only gonna be couple cities but then we gathered a whole bunch of people and now we're working on the newest empire city which is going to be big giant and then we're going to work on a bigger one after that so yeah it's going to be pretty big <laughs> so this map is like a long-term thing yeah um probably take a couple more months to make to completely finish it and yeah so by the end of this, where do you think this project will be? Um. Uh, hopefully it'll be big and everyone like it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, I seen that you have a lot of followers with your map. Have they been? How have? Oh, sorry. How <laughs> have they been treating your map? Well, most of them have been good and been some really good feedback uh, that I've seen. I haven't seen really too much negative feedback, and that's good. That's a good thing. There has been some trolls around it, but it's fine. We're still we're still working on it, so most of it's been good, and that's fine. Oh uh, yeah. So this map's been heading far in the last few weeks since I mentioned this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's next on your agenda for this map? Well, we're planning on adding a new update in, in like a couple of days. Just having some bug fixes and some minor note changes. And note 15 was missing in 1.3, so we're going to add that. I'm going to add that again. And then after that, we're going to make the next Empire City and see what happens from there. That'll probably be the next update. Okay. Um, th I can see this map like being more included with multiplayer. Is that being something you've been heading towards? Um, yeah, we've uh, actually someone did a let's play of mul with multiplayer, but the spawn was a little off. Like you spawn in the jail in single player, but in multiplayer you spawn outside of it. So I'm trying to we're trying to fix that so multiplayer could be played and you'd spawn in the same place as single player. But I'll have to expand the jail a bit. But seems seems uh, possible. Yeah. Um. Have you were you thinking of adding like uh, multiplayer only quests? Um. Probably not. No. Uh. Single player, multiplayer would be the same. Um. Earlier th today, I was looking at your thread, and I saw you had six main points on your map. Um, that's including Swift Sand Village and the pirate ship. But how many yeah. more point of interests are there on your map? Um, well, right now there's like Swift Sand, the pirate ship, the Empire Camp, Tusk City, the Pirates Cove, and what else is there? I'm missing something. Anyways, like around that, but I hope there will be at least. 15 or more points of like cities and camps and stuff. So, I'm expanding that. Yeah, okay. 
Um, it, you said in your update video you've got to add two campaigns. Is that, yes. Um, is, are you still working on that? Yeah, we're planning in the next city. That you'll be given the choice to either join the Empire or stay with the pirates. Oh, that seems very interesting. Uh, how do you yeah. plan on expanding on that? Um, well, it'll be like generally like the same, just different perks and disadvantages. Like with the Empire, we'd probably give you like more armor and like less quests, and then with the pirates, you'll get more quests, but not as good stuff because the Empire is richer and yeah. But it'd probably balance it out equally, so really good. Okay, um, I saw that you um, were working on a sort of custom texture pack with it on this map. Oh uh, yeah, our our mem new newer member, uh, Monstrous, was going to make a pirate texture pack exclusively for the map. But I sent him a message, but he hasn't replied back, so I don't know what's going on with it. Hopefully he's doing some work on it. Yeah. Hmm. Um, how long do you plan on continuing working on the map? How long will it take to be fully released? Um, hopefully, uh, probably take a couple of more months to finish the two cities and add more camps and some more towns and quests. Expanding it probably take three months, I'd say. Okay. Um, last question. When I was uh, looking at your banner on your thread, it said you'd be able to raid towns. How's like that being implemented into your map? Um, well, right now you can raid Swift and Village as part of the storyline and um, the Empire Camp, you can raid that too in the storyline, but we're gonna add more towns to for the Pirates campaign so you can raid more Empire towns and just take everything from them. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Justin, for um, joining me on this interview. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks for doing this. Oh, my pleasure. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this interview for A Power's Life for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of beginner's luck, and I'll see you guys next time.